Okay, action. Hi, uh, my name is Carl Davis. Um, I'm about to demonstrate to you um, a bottle scorer cutter. Um, you've seen a lot of these before. Um, this one is a little different. Um, it has, uh, instead of um, regular rods, it has a, a threaded rod, which means you can adjust it any way you want to, back and forth. Um, you can adjust the fence. Uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, one of the things about this that's um, interesting, I have here um, needle roller thrust bearings which enables the this glass cutter to move up and down because bottles are notoriously not round. Uh, on the other side um, I have had this kind of suspension idea uh, with um, 632 screws that are, that are tapped into the into the nuts and it can move up and down so these bottles can uh, actually be uh, uh, revolved and keep the scoring really really shallow um, and even okay um, this here is uh, a Toyo 20 uh, replacement uh, glass cutter head which is then has been mounted into um, a threaded rod I drilled a hole into the uh, into the threaded rod and then uh, replaced it with um, I put a, a nail in there as well um, okay so here I'm going to demonstrate uh, the, um, the technique uh, I'm going to revolve the bottle at uh, you know counterclockwise, so that the wheels will go um, clockwise, driving the bottle towards the fence. Um, now, just a just a word here. Uh, this is way over engineered. You don't need to have three quarter inch um, a threaded rod. You can go as low as um, you know five eighths inch, uh, half inch, be absolutely adequate. This is what I had lying around. So without further ado, I'm going to demonstrate this. Um, place the bottle at the end here, hold this down, and then allow it to just touch the bottle like that. We're going to go counterclockwise. And we're through. And here is the score mark, as you can see, all the way around. And there you have it. Um, when you come to um, do the um, hot cold um, snap, I use a I use a, a heat gun, and then I also use uh, then I dunk it into cold water and go back and forth between the heat gun. I find it works better than uh, hot water. Um, and another word of the wise, these don't work 100% of the time, so my recommendation is if you have any kind of, um, you know, high, higher areas here, just get rid of it. There are plenty of bottles. It's not worth your, not worth your while um, uh, spending time sanding it down. I use um, uh, silicon carbide paper. Uh, you can go as low as 36 if you want to. That, that's not silicon carbide, but you can go you can go high, start at 50, go up to 60, 80, 100, 120, 150, 220, 320, 400, as much as you want to do. Okay, thank you very much. Happy bottle cutting.